video how taking 500 milligrams three times a day of this supplement may literally make you flush out excess creatinine. Catherine here, let's talk about one of the most powerful supplements in existence. This is something that can really help you lowering your creatinine levels because it's as powerful as one of those prescriptions you may already be taking, but without the side effects. This supplement can really make a difference with diabetes and high cholesterol. And guys, I know that you like my quizzes, so let's start with one. Which one of these natural supplements is considered just as powerful as prescription medications when it comes to dealing with diabetes and cholesterol? Yerba mate, berberine, ashwagandha, moringa. If you know the answer, write it down in comment section. So today I'm going to talk about one of these four supplements because I think it can really help you. This is something that a lot of CKD patients could use to lower their creatinine levels. This supplement doesn't just make you expel the extra glucose that may be present in your system, a bit like metformin. It will also help you with high cholesterol levels, possibly helping you get rid of not just one, but two prescription medications. So yes, it's incredibly powerful. You see, not many supplements are considered as powerful as prescription medications. And guys, only one of these supplements you see here is also considered nature's Zempic. It can help you lose weight. It's one of the few weight loss supplements that actually work. So have you guessed which one is it? Yerba mate, Burberry, Ashwagandha, Moringa. Write the answer down in comment section. And the answer is Berberine. Berberine is a natural compound found in Burberry and other plants and it's what many experts consider the most powerful supplement in existence, which is not something you see every day. Berberine is so powerful that it's rapidly escaping the world of naturopathic medicine and entering mainstream medicine territory. You see, today even some primary care providers are starting to recommend berberine before prescribing, for example, metformin to people with diabetes and kidney disease. In fact, this powerful supplement may lower fasting and post-meal glucose levels significantly. It can also help with cholesterol and hypertension. And yes, the main reason why it can help lowering your creatinine levels is because it helps with diabetes. So now you may ask, is this for real? Is berberine really as powerful as a prescription medication? Well, let's see what science says about that. Now, when it comes to berberine, probably the most authoritative source is a meta-analysis published on the Endocrine Journal in 2019 and conducted on 2,313 type 2 diabetes patients. What this meta-analysis says is that Berberine is very effective. Patients had, on average, a reduction in fasting blood glucose levels shown as FPG in this study by 0.54 millimol per liter, as we can see. And that's really a lot. Probably not as effective as metformin, but comparable. And as the study points out, berberine combined with standard diabetes treatment is more effective than standard treatment alone, which is also very important. Now, there are other smaller studies in which berberine had an even more dramatic result. In one study, berberine has been found to lower blood sugar by more than 30%, which is an incredible improvement, by the way. And the way berberine works is by suppressing glucose production in the body and by enhancing insulin sensitivity. It's clear that this will also help you lose weight. In fact, there is also another reason why berberine is so popular today. The weight loss effect. 
So question, can bourbon really make you lose weight effectively? A lot of people are talking about this effect of berberine today. Some are even starting to call berberine nature's Ozempic. Ozempic is the popular weight loss drug that celebrities are using today to lose weight without having to work for it. But how effective is berberine when it comes to weight loss? Berberine is, in fact, one of the few natural weight loss supplements that actually work as intended. In a 12-week study in obese individuals, participants taking this remedy lost almost double the weight and body fat mass compared to those taking a placebo. And while the results are not as noticeable as those produced by Ozempic, berberine doesn't have any of the nasty side effects this medication produces. In short, berberine can really make a difference when it comes to protecting the kidneys and it's especially powerful against diabetes. Now guys, I absolutely want you to watch the whole video before considering taking berberine. First of all, because this supplement may have a couple of side effects you need to know about. But also because, as you can see from the label of this bottle here, most supplement brands combine this berberine with other supplements. The reason is that, well, because Berberine only works well when paired with the right supplement. Science is very clear on that. So depending on what you want to use berberine for, you will want to use it in different doses and in combination with different other supplements. If you want to use it with diabetes, you need to take it with chromium, for example. And there is one supplement that makes it effective for cholesterol, one for weight loss and more. So today's video is going to be a guide. Since we can actually use berberine to stop the most common causes of kidney disease, I want to show you how to do that from a practical point of view. Before that, safety first. Berberine has some side effects. Most common are constipation and upset stomach. More important, it may interact with medications for diabetes and high blood pressure, since it can lower both your blood pressure and your blood sugar levels. Taking it without precautions may make these levels too low. So consult your doctor before taking berberine. And also use your health journal to track any change you may have in these levels. If you haven't started your health journal already, don't worry. The way you use it is very simple. You just take note of all your values, blood pressure, blood sugar levels, and so on before and after starting a new remedy. This way, you can report your new values to your doctor so they can lower your medications. So always use a health journal to keep track of your progress. This is very important. Okay now, with that out of the way, let's see how to actually use berberine to get 100% of the benefits. Now guys, let's see exactly how to use berberine to fight diabetes. As we have seen, Berberine has been thoroughly studied in people with diabetes. The way this supplement is taken is in the extract form. The most common dose used in these studies is 500 mg three times a day before meals, a total of 1500 mg per day. To make berberine more powerful, studies suggest to also add a second herbal remedy which is known to enhance the healing properties of berberine. This is called banaba. Banaba is a species of tree that is native to the Philippines and Southeast Asia. The leaves of this tree are used to treat diabetes. When combined with berberine, the effects on diabetes are incredible. They were recently tested against a placebo on 148 patients. After just three months, 34.3% of patients taking banaba and berberine returned to a normal glycemic status. Banaba also offers kidney protecting benefits against damage caused by oxidative stress. Very important when buying a banaba supplement, check for corosalic acid content. It should be listed and it should be no less than 2%. As an added bonus, this combination of remedies would also help with weight loss. Banaba is mainly marketed as a weight loss remedy. Researchers investigated its effectiveness in a study on consuming herbs to lose weight. Results showed that after a 12-week treatment period, participants taking an herbal blend with banaba lost almost double the weight and body fat mass compared to those taking a placebo. 
Guys, remember that the combined effect of these two remedies, berberine and banaba, is going to be as powerful as that of the prescriptions you may be taking for diabetes. So be careful. Again, use your health journal and ask your doctor to help monitoring your progresses. Now, for some patients, this combination is still not enough to get rid of diabetes medications completely. Enter chromium and cinnamon. As we can see here, berberine can also be combined with chromium and cinnamon extract. Now, this we are looking at is the label of one of the most popular berberine supplements on Amazon.com. Many people use it every day and they will tell you that it works. And I'm 100% sure that it does. I mean, both chromium and cinnamon work very well for diabetes and they can effectively make berberine more powerful. Chromium works even alone for diabetes, but it can be combined with berberine for a more effective result. This is an essential trace mineral that stabilizes and reduces blood sugar levels by improving insulin sensitivity. And as we have seen, this popular supplement also combines berberine with cinnamon extract. So if you decide to try this or a similar combination for your diabetes, write down your number on your health journal. Keep track of your blood glucose levels in particular because it will go down. Now question, how can you use berberine to control cholesterol levels? Now the second way you can use berberine to lower your creatinine is by using it to help with cholesterol. Berberine is extremely effective against cholesterol. Here's what a placebo-controlled study conducted on patients suffering from high cholesterol levels found out. Taking 500 mg once daily of berberine is as effective as a moderate-intensity statin medication in terms of cholesterol reduction. Notice that when it comes to berberine, 500 mg a day is one-third of the dose people should take for diabetes. So, 500 mg berberine per day can provide a 20-30% to reduction in LDL cholesterol. But it's clear that for some patients, a 20-30% to reduction is not enough to completely get rid of their prescription medications. What to do then? We need to combine berberine with a second remedy, a vitamin. There is one vitamin that makes the cholesterol-lowering ability of this remedy even more powerful. It's niacin. This vitamin is key for kidney health. It lowers phosphorus levels and reducing the risk for cardiovascular problems. All kidney patients are recommended to supplement niacin for these reasons. And many people don't know this, but niacin or vitamin B3 is the oldest prescription medication for cholesterol in existence. Today, we know that it can be used in combination with berberine to maximize the cholesterol lowering benefit. What you need to know is that the dose of niacin used to treat high cholesterol is way higher than what CKD patients are usually recommended to take. In some studies, up to 1000 mg niacin per day were tested. And while the results this vitamin can give you are significant, current guidelines states that those in the advanced stages of CKD should supplement around 20 mg of niacin per day in addition to what they get from the diet. Now guys, I believe that this recommendation will change in the future. I believe that CKD patients will be recommended to take niacin in a much higher dose. The reason why I'm telling you this is because there are patients that have reversed CKD stage 4 thanks to niacin. And if you want to know more about this, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.